Yo, what's good, guys? Today I'm gonna be playing Madden. So there is the big arm of Josh Allen on display. He can throw it as deep as anybody, and that was an absolute laser. And that is absolutely demoralizing for a defense because you've got the offense on the ropes. It's third down. You're trying to get off the field, and then wham! You have a letdown in the secondary, and you give up a big one. And that one's spanning at even 65 yards in the air, according to Next Gen stats. That's the point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 7 0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. Here is Tua Tungavailoa heading out to lead this Miami offense. Tua and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Well, there's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the goal gets tough in here. Yeah, he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw it for a loss. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And this one is incomplete. But they certainly came out firing in this one. And while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. And this returnable for Hines. A very good return there, giving him an even 20 yards. And the Bills are going to take over in great position here for the first and 10. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll work down inside the 45. Following the pickup at four, here's second and six. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else just sit back, dare you to throw on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy's setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On the counter, this is Singletary. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard, stop short of the 35. Second and nine. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. He's got the hook up with Diggs. Touchdown. Stephon Diggs. 36 yards. And the Bills lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. So that drive span five plays. And it's finished off by the touchdown by Stephon Diggs. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. So Miami coming out for their second drive. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Get ready.
On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now, during that run, an injury here. We've got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Once again, it's Mostert. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Nothing to score. This is the NFL. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a third down coming up. Looking to pass to him. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Hines now on the return. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. A nice return that time. Gets 12 yards back. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. The last run got six. Now second and four to throw, it's Allen. And incomplete on the deep ball. Good defensive call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route. And he was right there ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. Here's Allen to throw it. He'll take a shot for Davis to the end zone. And unable to connect, incomplete. Uh, give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. He'll take a shot for Davis to the end zone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. The Bills drive stalls out down and the Dolphins defense is able to hold Here we go. the Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive still in the first half but this yeah. offense has struggled haven't really been able to get anything going not only in the points category but in the yards category let's see if they can do better here on this drive tackle made there by Matt Milano that felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go and everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Throwing now is Chugamailoa. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Third and one, and Tua wants to throw it. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves. But this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. And he fends him off. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. I think the defense surprised him during that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Here's second and nine. Two are going to throw. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. They're giving him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up. They can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. And this time he's going back 
scored. So after the no game on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. So fourth down, two and departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. Sanders' kick is good, and they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD, and it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far. Finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half as they take over with exactly one minute to go. Allen on first and ten. Going deep for Diggs. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Bills will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. One play. 80 yards, pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it up to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. Bass on for the extra point. And it's 21 to three. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort and results in the touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Dolphins taking over now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. Okay, ready? On first down, Tonga Bailoa. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first try. Well, tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Tredavious right with a pick, and the Bills are going to take possession of the football. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring. Fins. down here's the run with Cook and he gets this to the 35 good for a gain of five hey, it's not the most spectacular play but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down now meanwhile here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete they come up now third and five following the incomplete pass Throwing now is Allen. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. 
And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. A little football one-on-one -on -one there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Well, it hasn't been a banner first half with the defense trying to cover him today, but they'll take that one right there, helping force that incompletion. A final shot before half for Allen. Going to throw deep for the end zone. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. He's put up numbers in this one by pushing the envelope a bit whenever he could with deeper throws. But let's play a little philosophy here. Some plays it works, sometimes they're ready for you. And that time, they were on guard. Incomplete. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. Final adjustments being made for the second half. So with that, we get you back up to Orchard Park and rejoin Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's going to be out of bounds here as the run back will leave him shy of the 20-yard line. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit, as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time, he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. To his throw is taken in by Waddle. Short completion, just four yards, and that's going to bring up second down. Here's Tua. Over the, and it's out. He put it on the carpet. Now this is picked up by the Bills. Look at the big man rumble. And this is going to be brought back for a Bills touchdown. And Charles, look at the big fella. What a rumble that was. Not only a scoop, it, but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the pace setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week, he's smiling. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. So not only the tough but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop. And the score the other way. The fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. From the 10. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here... This one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, Let's just say it's been unusual. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. 
Again, they'll run it with Moster. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. And the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. Finally, hold down for the first. Defenders in there to drop it. Chuck that one up to bad acting, I guess, because they certainly failed to sell the handoff, and the pressure state keyed in on the quarterback. No Oscar awards for this offense, just a loss of yardage. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. So it's third and long, and defensively, not a real surprise there in the dime. Tua sets up to pass it, fighting to stay upright. He lost a big chunk, six yards there, and it leads to fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he's on to punt for Miami. Taking it about the 36. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bills will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they got the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. We're in the third quarter in upstate New York with a second and ten. In his own end zone, it's Allen. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot. He's got a man complete. He's at the 40, 20, 10, and all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary. A clinic on how to attack the defense and take them out of the game. And, oh, it's wide right. No good. back out there to boom this one away maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss and he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25 the Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive and here we are almost through three quarters of play and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet and in today's NFL
league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. Back now in Buffalo. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Meanwhile, to his throw here, going to be caught by Wilson. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Throwing again on second down. Tua. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. This offense so far on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and four. Now Tua. And able to find Gasecki as tight end. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Into a double team and it's intercepted. And the Bills are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20 yard line. And with this advantage, this defense knew that passes were coming and they stayed in position, Charles, and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, Bob, huh? because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard. They see what they can accomplish. He's got a man complete. And he will work his way out of bounds here at the 25-yard line. A big play here for Buffalo. 54 yards. But sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. And he made that look effortless, didn't he? I mean, he's had a great game throwing the football. This is going to add to his yardage total in a big way. It's one thing to be accurate on your short and intermediate throws, but when you're hitting the bombs like those, look out. On first down, Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Gabriel Davis, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Bills continue to run up the score. They lead it big here in the fourth. Uh, the coaches come into a game preaching total team effort. CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. When you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad is on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Miami set to take over. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. The throw over the middle taken in, and he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Two to his Alabama teammate Waddle, first down Miami. From the gun, it's Tua. He'll look to Gesicki on the out route. Ball is caught. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 49-yard line. Now left side on the swing pass. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Tua setting up shop to throw again. He'll hit Mostert again here. Oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, down this big in the fourth Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted 
But it winds up falling incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Here's Allen to throw it. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Partner in the sportsmanship handbook. There's something to be said for calling the dogs off in a blowout. But these defenders, they also know this is the NFL, and it's their job to stop them, whether they're in the game or they're down by a handful of touchdowns. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. He's going to fire one deep over the middle, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Dolphins are going to take over here up near the 40. Their passing game has been... Entering settings screen, you have 20 options. Menu narration option is set to office selected. This afternoon, finally, we win for the defense. You think maybe there was an adjustment there? Finally gained a measure of, I don't even know if you call it revenge, but got a play done against him, and that's been difficult for them all game long. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. Tyreek Hill's got another one. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Two are going to throw. And he's going to go down. They get to it back at the 40. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get upset. It's brought in by Wilson. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. One final try for Tongue of Iloa. And he can't find a receiver and he's brought down.
And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance by the offense.